This is Dr. Mora. I wanted to briefly talk about the importance of being able to identify a root tear uh, on an MRI. Uh, the, the typical story is a 50-year-old patient, a little bit overweight usually, ends up having uh, acute onset severe knee pain and swelling. X-rays showed a little bit of arthritis. Um, but because of the uh, severity of the pain, it's, it would be important to get an MRI, especially with that story. Here is the MRI. This is what we have. This is called a sagittal view. That means that it's a side view. This is the back of the knee. This is the front of the knee. This is the calf muscle right there. Uh, what you do first is go to the medial aspect of the knee, the farthest medial aspect, that triangular structure right there. That's the posterior horn of the medial meniscus. That dark structure should stay in sight all the way through to the to the point that you get to the PCL. So let's go ahead and move towards the PCL. There it is. It's still there. It's gone. You can just see a sliver and it's gone. And there's your PCL. Okay. That's the PCL. So once again, if you go, if you follow this medial meniscus posterior horn and you follow it on this sagittal image towards the midline or towards the PCL, it should not disappear. There it is. It disappeared. It's still gone. There's your PCL. So essentially the meniscus is ghosting you. If the meniscus has ghosted you, then you, you have a medial meniscus posterior horn root tear. And if that's the case, then um, if you take care, if you're, if you're an orthopedic surgeon, then in, in most situations, a frank discussion regarding the importance of surgery is done. And if you are uh, a uh, primary care physician, um, ER physician, the next step for this patient would be a semi-urgent orthopedic consultation. Uh, this is Dr. Mora, hoping that this information uh, will help at least one patient out there or another surgeon. Take care. Thank you.